Short selling is a way of expressing a negative opinion on a stock or any other security. Effectively, you sell something you don't own uh, with the hope of buying it back later at a more favorable price. And you can do that through a derivative or by borrowing shares from somebody else and using that to settle the trade at first. There are many different ways to identify short sale candidates. One way is to use quantitative screens to highlight companies that might have accounting issues or balance sheet weakness, for example. Uh, another method is to use fundamental analysis, meeting the company, reading the annual reports and the likes, to identify perhaps some thematic or structural issues that are relevant. Uh, a third way is to look at the ecology of who owns shares, who's, who's shorting, who's selling, to try to understand where there might be changes in supply and demand for shares. And that can be around index fund entry and deletion points, uh, rights issues or placings, for example. Risk management is really important for short sales because there's no theoretical limit to how high a share price can go, and therefore no theoretical limit to how much you can lose. So it becomes very important. Mostly, short sellers use stop losses to limit the potential for large losses by taking lots of small losses. Generally speaking, what I do is I look to identify situations where I've lost money and then study whether the news has changed since I shorted it. For example, has there been an earnings upgrade or a new product launch or some good news in another market? If there is and you're already losing money, it's likely you made a mistake in shorting it and generally I'll stop that position out at a small loss to avoid the much larger potential loss later. I think there are three important behaviours. First of all, patience. When you spot what might be an overpriced share, you should actually wait until a catalyst comes along. And that catalyst could be some bad news or perhaps a result statement that's pending or maybe news that other short sellers have identified it as well. So patience is, is the, the first important behavior. The second behavior that's important is to be able to accept losses, to admit to your mistakes. We talked earlier about risk management. When the news flow starts to improve and you're losing money, you've probably made a mistake. Time to actually accept that mistake, take the loss and move on. And that's actually quite difficult to do in practice. The third important behavior is to actually understand the data around who's shorting, who's borrowing stock and at what prices. Because there's 25 years of evidence that there's informational value in those data sets. This data has meaning. It can help you identify when to short and when not to short certain shares by looking at, say, liquidity risks. So looking at the data and understanding that data and applying it, that's the third important behavior.